It's finally here. Check it out. A new power grip. And it, it also comes with all this other stuff. There's so many things in here. Got the power grips. Another car charger. I don't know why so many of these just come with car chargers. Retractable earbuds. Hopefully they're better than the ones last week. Game pads. Uh, we got an adjustable charging station. Travel case. Got a little UMD case and a two-in-one data and charging cable. Now, of course, we're all here for the power grip, but obviously I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way there. We can't just jump straight to it. Don't be ridiculous. It's going to go around the edge around the bottom oh it's fighting me oh i didn't i forgot to say the thing oh where the hell is it i just saw it there it is year of our lord 2006 i never did find a date for the mega pack there was no documentation in that box now that i'm thinking about it that's disappointing Ooh, it's like a really disgusting thumbprint okay Let's start with this charging dock. This doesn't look anywhere as good as the one that we got last week. So the one we got last week was this tiny little slim guy. And it actually used, which I've never seen this before, it uses the two little contacts that are just underneath the barrel jack on the PSP, and it charges through those pogo pins there. And this is like super nice. The PSP just sits on there and it charges exactly as it should. Uh, this one is not only insanely big, but it also doesn't use the contacts. Instead, it has a barrel jack. I guess we gotta try it anyway. So let's give this power. Well, it's got a little power switch we'll turn on. We get a wonderful red light that's not threatening at all. Yeah, that just doesn't feel very good. This is just nowhere near as good as this little slim guy that we got last week. There's disappointment number one. Oh, that's weird. So I guess to save space on packaging, they've, they've bundled up all of the cables in the pouch. Let's go ahead and get this little UMD case out. That's actually, that's kind of cute. And I like this vaguely metallic blue that they've gone with. Unzip this guy. Got all of our cables. This is, yep, sure is a case. All right, and then we've got the earbuds. So compared to the earbuds from last week, I think they're exactly the same, except these are silver. And this says Cyclone instead of Joytech. But I gotta have a little listen to them anyway. Oh, I have a bad feeling these are gonna sound exactly the same. Wait a second. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Holy crap, okay. So these sound like everything's underwater and these which look exactly the same and probably came from the exact same manufacturer, um, actually don't sound terrible. Pleasantly surprising that those don't sound like absolute garbage. One last thing before we get to that power grip. We have this adorable little UMD case. Uh, oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I almost would have preferred it if they just didn't have this weird accordion thing in it. I don't, I don't care for that. It has a little lanyard though, so if you want to hang your UMDs from your neck, you can. That's right, they're still in there. Oh, you know what? I don't think they fit. Yeah, they don't fit in these little protective things. Oh, well, I guess that means I finally have to take them out now. That fits a lot better. Ah, wonderful. I'm probably gonna completely forget they're in there and they're gonna live in there for an extended period of time. All right, we've all waited long enough. It is time for the power grip. <gasps> Do I get my own little baby PSP thing? Oh, it's adorable. Frank, hold on to that. Oh, and these little nub things. So we get two different colors and it looks like these do completely replace the analog stick. So we'll take off that. We're gonna put the black one on. Okay, that sticks up really high. That is, that is insanely tall and it's really sticky. I think whatever rubber they put on this has not aged well. So here we've got our power grip. Ooh, that feels awful so that expands a little bit oh there's the charging port for it okay i guess first let's get the psp in there there's no instructions with this by the way okay 
we're in there. Okay, first impressions, it's significantly more comfortable than this thing. It actually like doesn't feel terrible. The only major gripe that I have immediately is that this plastic here is at the same level as the shoulder buttons. So my index finger is kind of ends up half on the shoulder button and half on this plastic here, which is kind of annoying, but that's not really that big of a deal. I don't want to touch this anymore. This is disgusting. It is so sticky. Like I feel like if I just put it in my hand, yeah, it just stays there. <laughs> this is really gross to use. I don't want to touch those anymore. Comfort wise, this is, this is pretty good. This is so much better than this thing. Ooh. It kind of flexes a little bit when you press down on buttons hard enough though. I'm not a big fan of that. No, it, that's as locked in as it can be. Okay, time to see if the uh, grips have any sort of charge to them whatsoever. Uh, the answer is no. Only thing we can do now is plug it in and see if they even charge. So we're getting a flashing green light. Is that just because I have it plugged in? Oh, okay. So now it's a solid green light. Well, hopefully that means it's charging. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so this thing opens and we have instructions. Oh, okay. Does it say anything about the lights? It's like a um, warranty. Uh, 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 the rest of this is very boring. It really doesn't say anything about what the lights mean. I can only imagine that solid green is charging and maybe when the green turns off it's fully charged ah, frank you let it fall down okay so what happens if i plug it in? i mean it's been charging for a few minutes does it give no it just blinks now hmm ah, frank hold it jesus it's very possible that the batteries are just like totally cooked but i'm not horribly unhappy with this grip it locks into place pretty well. Okay, well, I guess the only thing to do now is to let it charge for a full two hours, and then we'll see if it charges the PSP afterwards. Okay, so it's been over two hours. Uh, green light's still on, so I have absolutely no idea if that means it's taken any sort of charge. So we're just gonna plug it in and see if we get any sort of charge. I fully expect the batteries in this grip to be just completely kaput. Using this a little bit more, it's not bad. It's still not the most ergonomic thing. It's nowhere near as bad as this one. It still has kind of the same problem where the PSP itself sits quite a bit higher than the grips, but it is a little bit more recessed. So it's still more comfortable to move your fingers up to the shoulder buttons. I don't know, I could see myself using this. So I guess my final conclusion for this is going to be that this is really bad. This isn't as bad, but I'm not sure I would really recommend it unless you just so happen to find it for cheap. It's okay. That is about as good an endorsement as I can really give it. It's not horribly uncomfortable. It has some flaws. The battery in it's totally dead, but this one isn't bad. It's okay. And with that being said, I've got more weird PSP accessories on the way, so get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.